Hi, it's uh, Nick. It's January 2021. I'm pleased to announce a new update uh, for one of our products, Navlink. So, quick reminder, Navlink is a NMEA 2002 Wi-Fi server. So it takes the boat's NMEA 2000 data, makes it available for apps on iPads, tablets, uh, smartphones, mobile devices like PCs and Macs and so on. Super simple to install, simply tease into your NMEA 2000 network, creates a Wi-Fi point that you can log on with your mobile device, uh, and then apps have got access to all that data. What we're enthusiastic about is we've managed to update the software to have some new enhanced features. So let's take a look. Logging into Navlink is just as easy as normal and you're presented with this really neat new icon-based menu structure. To log in, simply find the hotspot that it creates and then type in the IP address of the device. By default, it's 192.168.1.1 and you're presented with this menu. From there, everything's easy. Just follow through the menus to set up the system. We've added extra functionality in terms of the way it can connect to networks. It now supports both access point mode and station mode. So in access point mode, devices connect directly to it. You can set your own username, uh, SSID and password so that you can give it a name, for instance, your boat name, so everybody knows they're connecting onto your boat network and also set up your favorite password as well. In station mode, it can join another Wi-Fi network. Now there's lots of users using systems like our 4G Connect that are using that for internet access that want to overlay NMEA 2000 data onto the top of that. Navlink can support that. It can join that Wi-Fi network and effectively become a client of that network. And that's what we call station mode. So there you'd need to know the password and SSID of your existing system and then be able to join that network. You can also see on this status page, it's possible to upgrade the software. That's where you'll go to to add the latest software updates. Now all the latest software updates are available on our GitHub site and the link shown on the screen below. Simply download the file, update it to the unit, and away you go. One other point to mention is you can also reset the unit back to factory default settings. So if you make a mess of things and you want to get it back to the way it came out of the box, simply press and hold the reset switch for 10 seconds whilst powering up the unit. Now let's have a look at the data modes that are supported. Navlink supports two different modes of connection, both TCP and also UDP. UDP is a point-to-point -point type uh, protocol, uh, like a broadcast, and it may be more suitable for driving multiple devices. So if you've got lots of devices connecting to the unit, UDP is probably a better method of connection than TCP IP. You can also set up the NMEA mode. By default, it's set up as a gateway in high-speed mode, transferring all data across and doing uh, specific NMEA conversions of AIS, GPS, instrument type data. But it also supports a raw mode where uh, PGNs are sent in native format uh, to be used by software developers and so on. And you can set that default mode in this page here. There's also an NMEA data monitor, really useful for looking at the data that's coming into the system, seeing the conversions that are there. You can pause the data. Uh, you can also log the data as well. Simply turn on the log and it will create a text-based file uh, which you can then store and email off to for product support or use as part of a, a database of where you've been overlaid into third-party software applications and so on. And finally, we've added filtering. This allows the user to uh, disable certain NMEA sentences which may cause conflict within apps. Really useful extra feature. So some great new enhanced features, all available free of charge for existing users and a standard now in our Navlink product. Uh, thanks very much for listening.